Hello everyone, welcome back to this edition of our changelog. This time we have a lot of new features. So the first one, which is actually not just an Espresso feature, this is something free and available for everyone, is Pixel Caffeine. Probably you have already seen it, but we have released an amazing, totally free WordPress plugin to manage your Facebook Pixel. With Pixel Caffeine, you can install it on any WordPress website. You can install your Facebook conversion and, tr and tracking pixel with just one click, and you can create laser focused custom audiences with just one click directly inside WordPress. We are tracking a lot of additional information coming directly from WordPress, and this way you can create custom audiences like I want everyone who visited a blog post with this category or this tag and coming from Google. This is just an example and Pixel Caffeine also lets you create amazing conversion tracking. With just one click you can literally track anything based on click on page element or visits on specific pages and you can also pass Facebook additional values with your conversion. So this is Pixel Caffeine, you will find the link to install it for free, again, directly inside the comments below. And let's go to what's next. We have released Local Awareness Ads. This is a fantastic ad unit if you want to advertise on Facebook, your local store, your brick and mortar store, and you want to drive traffic inside your shop. Local Awareness are just amazing. You have two additional call to action. One is to get phone call to give instruction on people to ask them information, etc. And the other one is to get direction. So users on their mobile with one click can immediately access uh, Google Maps, Apple Maps and get direction to reach your store. So if you are a local business, you should absolutely use local awareness ads. Next. Uh, an improvement to our ads gallery for university users and now you can install our totally free Chrome extension and we will track your Facebook and Twitter ads and usually within 24-48 hours you will see your ads, the ads that were shown to you directly inside Adespresso in our university section. Uh, this is super cool, a lot of users requested it and we are really proud that we have released it uh, super fast and by the way we are also reworking our ads gallery so very soon it will be even bigger and much much faster and easy to search. Next, another improvement on Adespresso, we have released more parameters for your OTM tracking if you are using Google Analytics. You can now pass Google Analytics advanced variable like your ad ID, asset ID and so on. So check it out if you are serious about tracking with Google Analytics and let's go to the next feature which is unified targeting element we had so many options about advanced demographic behavioral targeting categories etc and some of you found confusing and hard to search all these options so we have unified all of them in a single component that will let you very easily search any of these options for targeting give you a preview of the audience size and select more of them at the same time this is just the first step. We are already working on the next release, which will let you include, exclude, and do end or, or matching. This way you'll be able to create more complex targeting like people who have a high income and have a birthday in the next 30 days, for example. So really proud of the work that our designers and development team did here with the user interface. This is super simple. We posted about it on the university group this morning and I already saw a lot of enthusiastic comments about it. And let's come to the last feature. This is something that a lot of you had requested and we finally made it available to everyone after a first phase of testing. First release and very soon we will release an next duration which will make this even better. You can now add an ad set inside your existing Facebook campaigns. Yeah, I know you, you really wanted this and I'm really happy that this is finally available. Uh, just go under all ads within your campaign and you will find a new button which is add ad set. Just click there, define the new targeting of your ad set and you'll be able to create it. Right now, the new ad set will contain all the unique ads inside your campaign. So we'll just scan your campaign, find the unique ads and place it in the new ad set. You can immediately stop the ones you don't want, of course, but the next step will be to make these more um, 
configurable, more uh, flexible. And so when creating the new ad set, you will also be able to choose which ads you want to copy inside the new ads. And this is coming probably the next month. So that's all for this change log edition. Really a lot of news. As you can see, I'm now wearing my Hootsuite shirt. And thanks everyone for uh, sticking with me for this video change log. Ciao, ciao.